she's from a nobody family and we're famous. Ah, what the heck? Dad, Jack is my boyfriend. You can't do this. Come on, Mr. LaCroix. Haley and I are in love. I don't want any of your money. Well, if you're not after our money, then you're after our fame. You suck and so does your family. Get out! What the? Oh, no. There's no way you're back here, you pathetic nobody. Are you still dating my sister? I was just leaving, Axel. Well, leave faster. Yeah, start running, poor boy. <laughs> Stop! Stop chasing me, dude! I told you, stay away from my sister! Ah! Jack, my gosh, are you okay? Ah, Dad, I don't know. I think my arm's broken. That's what you get, you stupid nobody. You know, you famous people suck. You think you can get away with whatever you want. Because we can. Seriously, dude, you just hit me with your car. You deserve it. We worked hard for our fame, and some stupid nobody isn't going to take it. Got a call about a nobody trying to steal the LaCroix money? What's going on here? That's not what happened at all. Axel just hit me with his car. These LaCroix think they're above the law. Officer, all of this is lies. They're lying to you. Yeah, I know. You're rich and famous. You can do whatever you want. No, they can't get away with this. Shut up, you stupid nobody. This guy's famous. Who are you? Hey! Don't talk to my son like that. All right, I've had enough of you guys. You're boring nobodies. You're going to jail. You're both under arrest. You never listen to us. I just had to spend the last of our savings just to get you out of jail. Look, I'm sorry. No more sorries, Jack. We've had enough. Wait, just listen to me. Haley's different. She's not like the rest of her family, I promise. She's a LaCroix, Jack. No matter what you think, she's one of them. And you are forbidden from seeing her ever again. No, I'm not going to stop seeing her. Just because our stupid families don't like each other doesn't mean that we can't still be together. You know why we can't stand these people. Lemmy LaCroix and I wrote a movie together, and he stole the script for himself. You're father was gonna be a famous movie star. How could we ever let that go? Look, I'm sorry that happened to you, Dad, but I love Haley. She's my best friend, and we're happy together. Don't you want me to be happy? Of course we do, but Haley is a celebrity. She's way out of your league, and this is nothing but trouble. And if I ever catch you with Haley LaCroix again, there will be trouble. You're grounded. Now go to your room. Jack! Jack! Haley? What, what are you doing here? My parents see you. I know. Just follow me. Look, I already got in a ton of trouble for being at your house. Me too. My dad took my Bentley away for a week. I know. My parents don't want us hanging out at all. But I don't care. I, I love you, Haley. I love you too, Jack. I don't want to stop seeing you. But I don't know what to do. We can still see each other. We just have to keep it a secret. Wouldn't we just be living a lie? Well, it's better than not being together. <laughs> found you! Paparazzi, quick, run! I'll drive! Hey, where you going? Oh, slow down, Haley! Ah! Oh, man! Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I got it! This is great! Thank you so much! Please, just go. Ah, fine, fine! I got what I needed anyway! <laughs> I'm gonna be rich! Oh, great! Now my dad's gonna kill me when that gets out. Yeah, mine too. You think you need to go to the hospital? I don't think so. I should be okay. You should get out of here before more press gets here, though. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? Well, kinda, yeah. I was hoping you wouldn't. That picture is all over the internet! How could you disobey me like this? Cause I don't care what you think, okay? I'm gonna be with Haley. Well, long time no see, Justin! Uh, hello, Remy. Is this actually where you work? Gross. What are you doing here, Mr. LaCroix? I told you there'd be trouble if you didn't stay away from Haley. And I saw you totaled my daughter's car. Luckily, it was not the Bentley. My goodness. What are you going to do, huh? You're going to fight me about it at my own job? Ew, no. You're all dirty and stuff. I don't want to. That's gross. Look, can you just leave us alone? We're, we're trying to work. I will once I'm done here. Where's the owner of this dump? Wait, what? Who needs me? Hold on, hold on. I'm the owner. How can I? Oh my gosh! Let me recruit in my shop? Wow! Oh, I'm a huge fan, huge fan. Yeah, of course you are. Everyone is. What can I do for you, sir? Look, I'll give you an autograph if you fire these two nobodies right now. You, you can't, can't do, do that. that. Yeah, sure. I can find new employees. You two fired. Get out. Leave. You're trash, Remy. Pure trash. 
This isn't gonna stop me. You're not gonna break us up. Come on, shut up, Jack. Let's go. Hey, uh, Mr. LaCroix, can I get a little selfie with you or something? What? Ew, no. Absolutely not. Go away. How can Dad just keep ruining Jack's family's life like this? They don't deserve any of it. They're a family of nobody's hails. Their lives aren't important. You can't say that. They're people, just like you and me. No, not really. And you need to stop sticking up for them and start being a part of this famous family. Jack's family are good, genuine people. We need to stop messing with them. Jack's corrupted you. No, I've just become a better person than you. I hate Jack for doing this to our family, and I'm gonna find a way to fix it. Thanks for hiring me, Cannon. I really appreciate it. Y'all, don't sweat it, dude. You've been in my homie forever. Hey, why don't you give this a shot? Really? I'd love to. Nice, bro. You got a knack for this. This is trash. You suck. Ah, where's the music? Wait, is that Axel LaCroix? I love that guy. Hey, just leave me alone, dude. You get what you deserve, you stupid nobody. Why do you even care what I'm doing, man? Because you suck. Hey, somebody, we need security over here. Get him out. Dude, everything was fine until you showed up, man. Yeah, seriously, dude, you ruined this for me and for everybody else. I don't care. Now it's my time to perform. Hey, what's up, everybody? That's right, super rich and famous Axel LaCroix here. Oh my god, it is him! Yo, dude, before that jerk showed up, you were totally killing it. Thanks, Cannon. I was really enjoying it. I've got another gig lined up, but I want you to do it instead. I think you'd do really well. Dude, that would be awesome. Yeah, I'm super down for that. You look amazing, Jack. Oh, thanks for buying me these clothes. You didn't have to do that. I'm going to feel way more confident on stage now. You should be proud of yourself and feel better. Whoa, you actually don't look like a loser nobody right now. It's amazing what clothes can do. Thanks, I think. Dad, what are you doing here? I came here to see you two. Jack, now that you kind of look like you're rich, you want to go for a drive? I've been thinking, and maybe it's best if we get to know each other. I think this is great. You should go. Okay, yeah, sure. Sounds good. Okay, let's get one thing straight. I absolutely hate you and your family, and I'm gonna ruin your life. What? I thought you were changing. What? Why would I change? I'm famous. I'm perfect. You? You're just a loser nobody. Well, that's gonna change tonight. I've got a DJ gig. Not on my watch. Get out of my car. Ow, what the heck, man? Have fun getting home, you stupid loser. Oh, who is this guy? I don't know, but this music is lit. Woo! Go, Jack! Yo, dude, you were incredible. Absolutely killed it up there, man. Yeah, you did. I know music, and that was really amazing. Wow, oh, thanks, guys. I had a ton of fun up there. I definitely want to do it again. <laughs> well, that could totally be arranged. I'll make some calls right now. What's up, bro? Yeah, hey, I got a new... Wow, I'm so happy that you're here tonight, Haley. Did I see you dancing out there? Uh... Yeah, I had so much fun. I can't wait for you to do another show. Yeah, same. Oh, man, but I got to get home before my parents get mad that I'm late. You are a terrible human being, LaCroix. Hey, what's going on? I despise you and your pathetic son to try to ruin my family's name by hanging out with losers like you. Someone needs to put you in your place. Might be me. Why are you guys always fighting? Please just stop. I'll never stop as long as your dad keeps spreading those rumors about the script. You took everything for yourself, Remy. Now I struggle every day just to make ends meet. Heard you owe money on this trailer. Well, maybe I'll just buy it out from under you. You can't do that. Watch me. You guys used to be such good friends. Why can't you help each other now? Whose side are you on, Jack? You've done nothing but make this situation worse for your family. I can't be around you right now. Just leave. Dad, come on, please. I'm sorry, Jack. After that little stunt you pulled the other night, our public image needs fixing. Going to watch my boyfriend perform is not a little stunt. When it affects your family's fame and money, it totally is, Haley. The press is now saying Jack's your boyfriend. That's unacceptable. So that's all you care about? The press and not your daughter's happiness? Look, you're a LaCroix. It's time you start acting like it. Hey, Chance! Yo, what's up, guys? 
Who are you? I'm Chance. I'm a TikTok star. You've definitely seen my videos, right? No, I haven't. Axel got me in touch with Chase's manager. You're gonna go out in public with him. You know, movies, red carpet events. Just make sure you get your picture taken by the paparazzi. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna be even more famous now. I guess if this helps the family out, what am I gonna tell Jack? Look, it's not like Chance is really your boyfriend anyway, but Jack's trying to turn you against our family, Haley. In a few weeks, you're gonna realize that this is the right decision, and you're probably gonna wanna dump that loser. Well, I don't wanna hurt Jack, but I wanna do what's best for the family image. And you will. This fake relationship with Chance is gonna be great. How many more sets do I have? Oh no, keep going till you can't do it anymore. Yo, dude, look at the TV, it's Haley. No comment was made, but it looks like Haley the Croy is dating Chance Freeman, the viral TikTok star. I guess that nobody DJ she was with was sent to the curb. And we're all happy that was a stupid phase. Now she's dating someone in her league. What? Yo, dude, who even is that guy? Did you guys break up or something? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, she would never do this to me, right? Maybe you should go, like, talk to her and stuff. Yeah, fat chance, loser. My sister's moved on, and she doesn't want to see you anymore. You're a liar, Axel. But I'm not lying about this. You two are dunzo. Dude, like, seriously, get out of here. Whatever, losers. I have a party to get to. Out of the way. Maybe we should cut this short, dude. You should go see Haley right now. Yeah, it's a good idea. I need to find out what's going on. Haley, what is going on with you and Chance? I'm going out with Chase for the good of the family. Just a few more public appearances, and it'll really boost the LaCroix public image. Why, though? I have to start acting like a LaCroix now, and doing what's best for the good of the family. So where does that leave me in all this? I, I don't know. I'm starting to think my dad might be right about everything. You can't be serious, Haley. He's manipulating you. My dad was right. You're trying to make me go against my family. Maybe I'm not meant for someone like you. I can't believe that I'm hearing this. I'm so stupid, I should have listened to my dad. All of you LaCroix are exactly the same. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, just mad about what Haley said, but I don't want to think about it right now. I'm here if you need me. Thanks, dude, it means a lot. Yo, Gary, this is Jack, the guy I've been telling you about. Yeah, it's good to finally meet you, Jack. Cannon said a lot of good things about you. Wow, thanks, Gary. I'm excited to be here. Before we dive into recording, I need to see you in action at more live shows. Gotta see how the audience reacts, you know? Yeah, I'm ready. That's what I like to hear. We have a VIP beach party coming up, and I need the best DJ on deck. Think you're up for the challenge? I'm not just up for it. I'm ready. Whoa, this is so cool. You know, it's awesome that Gary could book all this for you. You know... I don't say it often, but I'm very proud of you. I'm sorry you're so mean to you about the LaCroix. It's okay, I, I get it. I was just trying to protect you. I just want what's best for you, that's all. I understand, but honestly, I, I really miss Haley a lot. Oh, uh, you'll get over it eventually. Wait, what's that noise? There's so much junk in here. Which one's the power cord? Remy, what are you doing here? I'm going to ruin this for your nobody son because I don't want him to become famous. Dude, I'm not even dating Haley anymore. Why do you have to be such a monster? Because I'm a star. I run the music industry, the film industry, whatever industry it is, it's mine. And I don't want you a part of it. You haven't changed at all, Remy. Still a jealous jerk like always. In your dreams, Justin. Oh, he's destroyed part of the setup. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Uh, don't worry, son. We'll figure this all out. I am not going to let that monster get away with this. Did you see Taylor Swift is here? And Beyonce is coming too. Oh, yeah. This place is filled with A-listers. It seems like everyone is here, Claire. Yeah, except for your boyfriend. Where is your stupid date anyways? I have no idea. This whole fake boyfriend thing with Chance is getting to be a nightmare. Oh, babe, babe, sorry I'm late. I was doing some cool TikTok dances. Did you see my new one? This guy is totally cringe. Tell me about it. I can hear you. I'm like right here. You know what? If you don't like my art, then you don't like me. We're breaking up. Okay, good. See ya. Oh, that guy is so weird. Honestly, I miss Jack so much. I need to find a way to fix things with him. Thanks everyone for coming out today. I apologize if the quality was a little off. We had some technical difficulties earlier. Yeah.
Grox! Yeah, Jack's gonna be the best in the world! Wait, is that Haley LaCroix? Oh my gosh, I love her! Jack, that was really amazing! Haley, what are you doing here? Chance is such a loser, and I'm sorry for hurting you. I want to be with you again. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that right now. What do you mean? You love me. Yeah, but I'm upset that you just ditched me because your family told you to. I need some time away from you right now. I need to think about this. Yeah, Jack, honestly, that set totally sucked. You should be so embarrassed. Well, people seem to really like it. Hey, get off the stage! You heard the audience. I guess they turned against you. Get the heck out of here, you loser. Good, I can't be around any of you LaCroix right now anyway. Jack, wait! What's going on? Ah, the nobody son arrives. Good, just in time. This jerk, Mr. LaCroix, is gonna buy our home. There's nothing we can do. Wait, I just made five grand. I'll give it to you if you just leave us alone. Do you really think I want your money? I'm rich and famous, you idiot. I spend more than that on breakfast. And what do you want? Well, I want to make your lives miserable. Do you not listen to me when I talk, when I told you that I was going to ruin your life? You're such a jerk. You have all this money and fame, and you only use it to bully people. You're the real loser. Jack, shut up. You're only making things worse. Yeah, listen to your stupid dad for once. And why would I help you? Your father's the one to blame for this. I'm the one to blame? You're the one that stole my script. You're both to blame. You'll never forgive each other. It's been 20 years. Why can't you guys just move on? You don't understand what you're talking about. Why do you always make these situations worse for us? Just leave. Good. I don't want to be around either of you anymore. Jack, in all my years, I've never seen anything quite like what you're doing. You're being streamed by millions of people all over the world already. Whoa, that's incredible. I really owed all the cannon here. He showed me the ropes. Nah, oh, dude, this is all you. You took what I showed you and you ran with it, man. Yeah, I've been chatting with a bunch of people in the industry. They're demanding an album from you as soon as you can get it out. A real record deal? Man, this is huge. I just wish my dad could see this. I'm really turning into somebody, you know? Not just somebody, Jack this record hits, you're gonna be the biggest star in the industry. I won't let you down, Gary. I'm gonna work really hard on this right away. Come on, how about we go grab some dinner and celebrate, dude? Well, only if you're buying. No, this one's on me. I told you to get out. I hate you, Remy. What's going on in here? What do you think? I just bought the trailer. You and your family need to get out of here right now or I'm calling the police. I can't believe you actually did this. This isn't over, Mr. LaCroix. Once my record sells, I'm getting all this back. What, you think you're gonna become famous? You? You're never gonna make it, kid. You're terrible. You have no talent at all. Watch me, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Oh my gosh, why are you still talking? Get out. This isn't yours anymore. Oh, is this how you guys live? See, Jack, look at what happens when you associate with the LaCroix and you're chasing your fame, trying to be just like them. You're only making things worse. Why can't you just move on and be done with this? You're the one who won't let it go. I can't be around you right now. I have to talk to your mother and find a new place for us to live. Well, what about me? You seem fine on your own. You'll figure it out. Jack, the record's solid, but you need more to break out. What do you mean more? I poured everything I have into this. It's not about the music, kid. You need to perform it live. Generate some buzz, get people talking. I'll do whatever it takes. That's what I like to hear. There's a ton of upcoming shows and I can get you in, but you have to bring your A-game. Look, there's a big VIP party tonight. Industry people, influential people, I want you there. And Jack, this is a golden opportunity. Don't blow it. Whose party is this anyway? Jack, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm DJing tonight. Who's this party for, do you know? It's, uh, for my dad's new movie premiere. Oh, fantastic. That's not good. Uh, what is he doing here? Axel, Jack's DJing tonight. I know you don't like me, but can you just let things go smoothly for once for your dad? Smoothly? Oh, no way. There's no way he's DJing here. Dad's gonna flip out when he sees you. Come on, man. I really need this. I said no. Ha! Hey, stop! That equipment isn't even mine! I don't care! I hate you, and you're not gonna be a part of this! Axel, please, stop this now! Get out, Jack, before I have you arrested again! Oh my gosh, I I'm so, so sorry, Jack! Whatever. All you famous people are the same. I just want to make my music. I, I don't need this. 
Thanks for coming with me, Dad. I really appreciate your help with all this new equipment. Yeah, yeah, of course. Look, I know we fought last time, but despite everything, I do love you. Plus, this DJ gig of yours is paying very well. Jack, you ruined my party last night. Axel was the one that ruined it. He didn't even let me perform. You know, enough of this, Remy. Leave me and my family alone. This crazy fight of ours has gone on for too long. I won't stop until I've made sure Jack's ruined. You don't deserve anything. Axel already destroyed my equipment. Nearly cost me my job. What more do you want, man? Not only will you never find success, but everyone now knows that you attacked my son. What? You're lying. Jack would never do that. Axel's the one that wrecked all my gear, and then I left, dude. Well, that's not what I saw, and not what I paid a bunch of other people to see. Axel and Haley will definitely testify against you. They'll back up my version at the police station. Police station? What are you talking about? Where's this nobody you were talking about, Mr. LaCroix? Right here, officer. Yeah, that's it. You loser. You're under arrest. No one lays hands on famous people and gets away with it. Come on. Look at this poor, stupid nobody. Do you like just slapping famous people across the face? Is that what you do for fun? He punched me in the face and destroyed his own equipment to make it look like I did it. He's a liar, officer. I never do that. He just hates me, so he's trying to get me in trouble. That's all this is. Well, it's something I would do, so it's totally possible. Haley LaCroix, first of all, huge fan. Love your work. Second, tell me what happened here, really. Yeah, come on, Haley. Tell him the truth. <sighs> Axel is lying. Jack told the truth. What are you doing, Haley? I can't let you and Dad use your fame to hurt Jack and his family anymore. You need consequences for your actions. Well, since I'm a huge fan of Haley LaCroix and I believe everything she says, it's pretty clear. The famous guy over here's a liar. A filthy liar! Jack, you're free to go or whatever. No, you're making a big mistake. Dad's gonna be so mad at you! Thanks, Haley. I know that must have been hard for you. You've been through so much because of my family. I owe you, Jack, and I want to help you with your record. I'd really appreciate that. Kid, your first album sold out so fast it's making my head spin. We need to jump on the second one right now. Oh, I can't believe how everything turned out. I'm stoked to dive into the second album. You, you've tarnished my family's reputation. Axel got what he deserved. The truth finally came out. Your son smashed our equipment and I had to foot the bill. That wasn't cool, dude. You two nobodies think you can speak to me like that? I'm famous, show me some respect. I'm not a nobody anymore. And I'm not scared of you. I'll be bigger than you were. And you know what? I'm going to treat people way better than you ever did. In your dreams, loser. I'll make sure that doesn't come true. You need to leave. We have work to do. Look at this. My son buying his old man a house. <laughs> I never thought this would happen. Well, I'm not famous yet, Dad, but I'm getting there. I felt that I owed this to you and Mom after what Mr. LaCroix did to our home. Honestly, regardless of all this... I just want you to know, I really am proud of you, Jack, truly. Thanks, Dad. That means a lot. Hey, Jack, are you ready to get going? What is she doing here? Dad, Haley's the only reason that I didn't get in any trouble and Axel did. She stood up for me. Ever since I spoke the truth about Axel, they've distanced themselves from me. All right, fine. You know what? If you trust her, Jack, then so do I. How's Axel been holding up after getting in trouble? He's been spiraling out of control ever since. The news can't get enough of his downfall. I just hope he doesn't show up at the event tonight. Oh, speaking of which, I bought you a new outfit for it. Wow, you didn't have to do that. Thanks, Haley. Jack, Haley, you two are being called the world's most famous couple. But honestly, Haley, your family's name has been totally put in the trash lately. With your brother getting arrested and your dad basically losing his mind, what's going on? I've always tried to be genuine and stay away from the kind of trouble my brother gets into. Axel's a really bad guy. Getting him out of the spotlight's been really good. Oh yeah? I'm still super famous. Why aren't you interviewing me? I should be the center of attention, not them. Uh, excuse me, this is highly inappropriate. You're not the focus tonight. Literally no one cares about you. Axel, come on, man. There's a time and place for everything, and this isn't it. But I'm more famous than any of you. I'm more famous than all of you combined. Ha! Huh? Ow! Axel, what are you doing? Boo! This guy sucks! Oh my gosh, this is a complete, utter disaster. You're an absolute pathetic loser, and yet again, you've made a fool of yourself. No, no, you're all wrong. I'm the best. 
This sucks! <laughs> Are you okay, Jack? Yeah, I'm fine. Your brother's completely lost control. Axel's been arrested because of you, Jack. He attacked me, Mr. LaCroix. He brought it on himself, and this time everyone saw it. You know, Remy, with all your fame and money and influence, can't you just make this go away for him? That's just it. I'm not famous anymore. I'm not famous because of you. My family's reputation's been destroyed. Well, Mr. LaCroix, it's not just about me or you. You're starting to see the consequences of who you really are. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, my script is what made you famous, and you were probably never meant to be famous in the first place. I deserve that fame more than you ever would. You wouldn't have handled the spotlight like I did. From what I see, you're just like everybody else. Maybe, what was the term you used when you used to talk to me? Oh, a nobody? I can't take this anymore! I've gone broke! They're taking the house! Oh my goodness! Well, actually, I bought the house from the bank, so it belongs to Haley and me now. If you bought it, does does that mean I can stay? What? No, of course not. You had every opportunity to help your family with your fame and wealth, but you chose not to. But look, man, I'm not heartless. Here's a thousand bucks. It should help you get started. Only a thousand? I'm not even going to be able to afford my breakfast this morning. I told you specifically it's five thousand dollars! Dad... You should be grateful Jack is giving you anything at all. I think all of this is finally over. Maybe your dad's finally gonna learn. Yeah, I hope so. I'm so happy that we got to be together, Haley. I wanted to ask you, will you marry me? Yes, absolutely, yes! Man, I can't wait to meet my new adopted brother. Wait a minute, Dad, is this him? Yes, it is, Levi. We just adopted him today. Meet Parker. Ew, this house is so small. I'm a billionaire. I can't live here. Guys, no, wait. This is Parker Stoneshire. He picks on me at school all the time. Well, uh, you two are gonna learn to get along. Ugh, this sucks. My new family is poor. My brother is this stupid loser. Ugh, I just hate everything. Well, will this make you feel better? Yeah, whatever. Where's my stupid room? Uh, it's inside. Why don't you go show him, Levi? <laughs> Fine, come with me. Well, this is it. This is your room. What? No, no way. I'm a billionaire. This is too small and poor. Ugh. I don't know what to tell you, man. This is it. Just take it or leave it. Yeah, I don't think so. What is this? This is my room. Well, not anymore. This is going to be my room now, even if it is small. No way, dude. Back off. Just take the other room and deal with it. I don't think so. Mom! Is everything okay? No, it's not. I want this room to be mine, but Levi is being mean. Maybe you can move to the spare bedroom. No, that's going to be my closet. Mom, you can see that he's being ridiculous. I'm not moving. Look. We have to make Parker comfortable. He's going through something right now. You can sleep on the couch or in the garage. What? No, dude, you're a jerk, you know that? Okay, boys, your mother is out with her friends, so it's just us for dinner tonight. What? No, I'm not eating here. Dude, why not? It's just pizza. This is poor people food, and I refuse to eat it. Okay, so where would you like to eat, Parker? This place? This is the most expensive restaurant in town. You can't be serious. Obviously, this is my favorite place to eat. Welcome back, Mr. Parker. I want my usual table. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. It's been taken by the mayor, sir. Then have him kicked out. Uh, uh, of course, uh, sir, uh, right away. Yeah, but I don't know what to tell you two because you guys are obviously not dressed appropriately for our establishment. Let my new dad in, but kick this loser out. What? Yep, very good. All right, you'll have to leave, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, back off, man. Parker's your new brother? You're joking, right? That guy's the biggest bully in school. Yeah, I know. And now I have to deal with him, dude. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I just, I have to figure it out. Hopefully, he'll be a little nicer now. Oh, look at that. It's the biggest losers in the school. Why do they even let poor people in this place to begin with, man? I don't know, but we should teach him a lesson. Hey, ah! poor loser. What the heck is wrong with you, dude? Uh, I'm gonna go get the teacher. You boys are in serious trouble. I won't let you get away with this again, Parker. You're suspended for a week. 
No, I'm not. Here's a thousand dollars. So spend this poor loser instead of me. What? You can't just do that. Shut up, Levi. I'll take that. Levi, you're suspended for a week and I'm calling your parents. Unless you have more money. This is insane. All right, I'll take that as a no. Get out of my office, both of you. I'm sick of you acting so spoiled and always getting your way. Yeah, well, get used to it. I always get what I want. Yeah, well, my parents are going to know the truth, dude. I don't care. Your parents are wrapped around my finger. They'll do whatever I want. I am so disappointed in you. I didn't do anything. It was Parker who punched me. Ugh, Parker this, Parker that. You've been terrible to your new brother. You need to give him a chance. Yeah, well, why should I give a chance to someone who just got me suspended? Because Parker is going through a tough time right now. He needs a break. I don't care. I'm not just going to let him have that excuse. He's a spoiled billionaire brat. What tough time could he be going through? Parker's family just died in a plane crash. His parents were on a private jet to Paris and it disappeared. They assume his family is dead. That's why we adopted him. Look, I had no idea. That's terrible. He lost his family like that? I would feel so lost without you and mom. Exactly. Just make him happy, okay, Levi? Be nice to him and be a good brother. Okay, I'll try. I want you both to get along and spend some time together. Can I have some money for some new clothes? Oh, uh, okay, here. Uh, can I have some too? No, you're still in trouble for getting suspended. Have fun, boys. Oh, great. So, what do you want to do first? Look, let's stop right here. I'm never going to be friends with you, so I don't care what you do. Just leave me alone. Dude, I'm not going to leave you alone, all right? You're in this family now, and I know about what happened with your parents, man. What? Shut up! Don't ever mention my parents again! We're never going to be friends! Dude, what are you doing hanging out with this loser? Uh, he's not with me. This poor person just followed me in begging for money. Come on, dude. Let's just go to the Gucci store. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like a good idea. Bye, poor loser! <laughs> Oh, come on. Man, this game sucks. Parker, can you play that in your room? I'm trying to study, man. Ugh, this TV's trash. I can't even play this game right because of the low quality. Boys, we need to talk. What's going on, Dad? Parker, put the game away. No, I'm on the last level. Parker, I said put the game away now. Ugh, fine. What do you want? Report cards came out today. Levi, you got honor roll in all your classes. I'm very, very proud of you. Thanks, nerd. Parker, you're failing almost all your classes. Can you tell me why? Because he never does his homework, that's why. Whatever, school's hard. I don't like it, so I don't care. If you're in this house, you're going to care. Levi, you need to help your brother get his grades up. No way, I'm not gonna get help from him. See, Dad, he wants nothing to do with me. I'm not gonna help him. Uh, fine then. Levi, you can get all of Parker's allowance. What? No, that's money. That's not fair. Then you'll let your brother tutor you, Parker, and you're going to start doing chores around here too. What? No way. That's poor people stuff. I said what I said, and that is final. Yo, dude, you want to go watch the new Shane Plays video with me tonight? I can't. I have to tutor Parker after school. Ew, why? Look, I, I have to. He's failing, and my dad wants me to help him out. Yeah, good luck with that. Where is he anyways? Ew, this place smells like books. It's gross. Dude, where have you been? Hanging out in the gym. Didn't want to come here. See, dude, he doesn't care at all. Ew, why don't you go away? Ugh, whatever, jerk. Are you ready to get started? Nah, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go hang out with Jacob. Dude, you better take this seriously, or else I'm gonna tell dad, and he's gonna be mad at you. You know what? I've got an idea. Why don't you just do my homework for me? Here, have some money, too. You need to learn how to do your own work for once, man. You can't just depend on your wallet your entire life. Yeah, I can. You know what? Whatever. You don't get it. I'm out of here. Dude, dude, what is this place? This shack? Ugh, I have to live here now. Yeah, well, it sucks. What happened to you, man? This is tragic. Look, I know, okay? We'll be here for like two seconds. I just gotta grab some money first. Yeah, well, you better hurry up, all right? I'm starting to become poor just standing here. Oh my gosh, shut up. Yep, definitely smells like homelessness. Yeah, I know. 
Come on, where the heck is it? Ugh, what? I'm out of money already? Oh no, the poor it spread to you too, didn't it? Shut up, dude. I guess I can't go to the movie tonight. No way, man. We need to go, okay? Tiffany's gonna be there and I have to ask her out. You know this. Well, I have no money, so I can't go. Sounds to me like you're lame and poor, dude. You know, we shouldn't even be friends anymore. What? No, no, wait. I got an idea. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. I'll just take this. Yeah, well, good luck, dude, because poor people know when you take their money. So? I'll just blame it on my loser brother. Sweet! Sounds like a deal. Tiffany just got there. Come on, let's go. Levi, get downstairs now! What's going on? You tell me! Where did my money go? Money? What are you talking about? I had $200 in my wallet right here, and now it's gone! Come on, you can't be serious. You know I didn't take it. If you didn't take it, who did? What's up, Dad? Ew, why does everyone look so upset? Dad, why don't you ask Parker where your money went? I'm sure he'll know. Parker, did you take my money? I haven't been home all day. I was out with my friend, so it couldn't have been me. Yeah? Then where'd you get that new shirt? I've always had this shirt. Plus, I'm rich. Doesn't matter. Well, someone took my money, and I've just about had it. Dad, you know Levi's been super mean to me. You know, I bet it was him that took the money. Oh, well, that's just a lie, man. You know what? Enough. Levi, I can't believe you would steal from me. You seriously believe him? You know what? You're grounded. And give me your phone. You go to your room right now. Wow, I cannot believe this. Awesome, three points. Yeah, good job, man. Dude, where have you been? You could have easily stopped me. Are you even trying? Yeah, sorry, man. I've been thinking a lot. About your dad? Yeah, man. Look, ever since Parker's gone there, he always has been siding with him. It's like he doesn't even believe his own son anymore. Parker is a total loser for getting you in trouble, dude. Yeah, and it's obvious that they have a favorite son, and it's not me. No way, man. Parker's gonna mess up eventually, and then your parents are gonna see the truth. I heard you losers say my name. Why are you talking about me? Because you're a jerk? Go away and go beg for money on the street, you poor loser. Parker, I'm not gonna tell you twice to just leave. No, I came here on business. I need your help with school again. You're crazy, I'm not gonna help you. You have to help me. I'm gonna get in serious trouble if my grades don't improve. Yeah? Well, why don't you just pay off the teachers like you used to then, huh? I can't, because I'm broke now. I won't get my inheritance until I'm 18 years old. Yeah, well, it sounds like a you problem. You better start working hard because I'm not helping. Levi, you have to help me. No, you did this yourself, so deal with it. Ugh, whatever. You're gonna regret this and I'll make sure of it. Levi Strong, please report to the principal's office immediately! What the heck is that about? What's going on here? You're a terrible liar, Levi. That's what's going on. Uh, I don't understand. Parker has been caught copying your homework, and he claims that you let him do it. It's true. I asked Levi for help, and he made me copy his homework instead of helping me. Dude, that's the worst lie ever. I tried to help him, but he refused. I have no choice. You both get detention for a week. And Levi, if you get in trouble again, you'll be expelled. Understood? Yes, sir. Now get out of my office so I can continue watching my show. Ugh, I hate kids. So, dude, did you ask out Tiffany yet or what? Yeah, but she said no, but it's like whatever, dude. She's like a six and I'm like a nine. So I'm going to ask out Bridget instead. Parker, we need to talk. Yeah, no, nope, sorry. No poor people allowed within 50 feet of us. Then you should leave. What? Dude, don't embarrass me in front of my friend. I don't care about that. What you did was messed up. I told you. You were going to regret not helping me. And look at what happened. Yeah, well, I tried, and you ditched me, man. You know what? I've had enough. What is your problem? You want to know what my problem is? Fine. I'm used to getting whatever I want, because that's what I deserve. Maybe you got away with all that with your billionaire parents, but they're gone. And it's time for you to face reality and grow up. Yeah? Well, if you know what's good for you, you're just going to give me what I want. No, no way, man. And if you keep this up, I'm warning you. I'm not going to have your back. And you'll be alone. Ugh, you're a terrible brother. 
Yeah, well, look in the mirror, man. Whatever. Just stay out of my way. Yo, happy 18th birthday, Levi, here. Thanks, dude. This party is awesome. So happy your parents still let you have it after, oh, you know. Yeah, with Parker getting in a lot of trouble lately, trust me, it almost didn't happen. Did you ask for Parker to be shipped off to Antarctica for your birthday? Come on, please tell me you did. No, but I probably should have. You losers are talking about me again, aren't you? And what is this? They all say Levi on them. Where are my presents? Uh, you're not getting any, dude. It's my birthday, not yours. Ugh. If I don't get them, then no one gets them! Ha! Ha! Stop it, Parker! You're acting like a five-year-old! Hey, hey, hey! What's going on here? Whoa! Why are these presents destroyed? Levi did it! What? Parker just did that! Why would I destroy my own presents? Levi, have you lost your mind? You flipped out because I wanted to see your gifts, and he won't share, Dad. You selfish brat. You know what? Party's over. Everybody go home. Levi's being a stinky brat. Parker ruined my party, and now I have to clean up? How can my dad not see that this isn't fair? Wait, what? What's going on? Hey, Parker. Come on. Come on outside. Check this out. Whoa, no way. Yep, this is for you, Parker. I hope you like it. Thanks, Dad. I mean, it's not the right color, but I guess it'll do. Wait, what the heck, Dad? You bought him a car? Oh my gosh, Dad, look. Levi's just so jealous of me. Give me one reason, Dad. Give me one reason why he deserves this. Because he just does. He had a hard time today. You know what? Thanks for the car, Dad. I'm gonna go. Bye. Dad, how can you not see what he's doing? You just made a huge mistake right now. Uh, maybe it was a mistake. I mean, I just spent all my savings on that car. I really hope Parker likes it. You need to wake up, Dad. You're just giving in to him and spoiling him. But he has no family, Levi. I, I just want him to feel loved, that's all. Yeah, well, at some point, he's taking advantage of you. You know what? I'm over this. Jacob, come on, get out here, you loser. Whoa, sweet car, dude. I know. It's a shame that you can't afford one. Okay, calm down. Where'd you get it, huh? I thought you were poor now. Shut up. Made my new dad buy it for me. You want to go for a ride? Sure. Let's get sushi or something. But I want to drive. All right, fine. Sweet. Let's go. Oh, by the way, dude, Bridget said yes, dude. <laughs> All right. Hey, slow down, man. What's wrong? Are you scared, baby? I'm not scared. It's just my new car. So as I was saying before you rudely interrupted me, I asked Bridget on a date and she said, ah! What the heck, you losers? This is my only car. Oh my gosh, you guys are so stupid. You know what, you're under arrest for reckless driving. About time you got me out of there. That place sucked. I don't want to hear it. I just had to pay $5,000 to bail you out of jail. So what? So what? I'm not made of money, Parker. And you crashed the brand new car I bought you? That is not how this world works. You know what? You're getting a job. And so is Levi. What? Why me? Because the both of you need to learn how to work hard and start earning your own money. Yeah, uh-uh. No way. Working is for poor people, and I'm not doing that. Well, you both better get jobs or you'll be on the streets. It's time to grow up. Whoa. Why is dad so upset? It's just a car. Dude, you're so blind. Do you have any idea what you just did? No. That's your problem, dude. Dad is going broke because of you. You're ungrateful, spoiled, and you only care about yourself. Hey, that's not true. Yeah, it is. So wake up. Here you go. Have a great day. Whoa, Levi, you've been doing a great job, Hugh. Thanks, Quimby. Usually, we're all, like, miserable here, you know? <laughs> but you've been a great addition to this team. Well, I'm happy that I could get the job and even bring my brother on board. Yeah, speaking of that, where is your brother, huh? Where's Parker? Uh, he should be out back stocking the beans. Yeah, well, he better not mess up, dude. This is a five-star coffee place, all right? We don't want to lose that star. Ugh, this job is so stupid. Why am I even here? Dude, you were supposed to be here five hours ago. Whatever. I hate this. Yeah, well, why don't you just give it a shot, okay? Try something for once. What? Huh. You think I'm lazy, don't you? Yeah, because you are, and you're spoiled. Oh, yeah? 
Dude, what is wrong with you? Oh my gosh, Levi, you just spilled all this coffee. Are you insane? Whoa, I heard coffee spilled. Is everything okay over here? Ah! Oh, my back! Oh, my back! Oh my goodness! Quimby, are you all right? Do I look like I'm all right? Well, Levi's the one that did it. No way, Parker did it. Yeah, well, you guys both probably did it on purpose just to make a laughing stock out of me. You're both fired. Now get out! I am so beyond disappointed with the two of you. You're both gonna get new jobs and start acting like real adults, not big, stupid babies. Wait, where are you going? I'm taking your mother out for dinner. I don't get it. Why is he always so mad? It's because he cares about us, man. He cares about us? I'm not used to that. What? What are you even talking about? Your parents gave you everything. Yeah, but they would just like ignore me. They would miss all my school activities. They never spent time with me. They just threw money at me if I wanted anything. Yeah, well, I guess that makes sense, Parker. That sucks. Yeah, it did. Honestly, I never really thought my family loved me to begin with. Well, you have one here that's trying to, okay? And you gotta give him a chance. You need to be nicer. Yeah, well, okay. I, I'll try, I promise. See, man? It's easy. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. This would never be caught dead doing this before. Well, that was then, and this is now. Just give it a shot. Ugh, come on, I hate this. Levi, you just do it. No, Dad wants you to do it. Just put in some effort and try. All right, fine. Uh, uh, okay, I think I did it. Wow, the lawn looks great, Levi. Good job. Actually, Dad, Parker did it on his own this time. Wow, great job, son. You know, I'm really proud of you. Here. Whoa, 50 bucks? That's it? Dude, come on. Oh, right. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, thanks, Dad. Good job. Keep up the good work. See, dude, it wasn't so bad, and you actually earned that money. Yeah, it wasn't so bad after all. What's up? Are you all right? I'm just shocked. I don't think anyone's ever said they were proud of me before. Well, my dad is, and you know, I am too. Oh, thanks, dude. Oh my gosh! Parker, get inside, quick! Okay, okay, I promise it's real this time. Whatever it is, Dad, I didn't do it. No, Parker, come on, look at the TV. Welcome back to the evening news. In a shocking turn of events, billionaire Walter Stoneshire and his wife Buffy have been found alive. Wait, what? Dude, your parents are still alive. Walter and Buffy have been vacationing on a remote island for the past several months and now have returned home to throw a massive party at their mansion. And you know that I'll be invited, of course. Wow, Parker. Your... your family really is still alive. I thought they were dead. They were just on vacation? How do you feel about all of this? I feel incredible. Ugh, I can't wait to get out of this dump. Wait, what? You're just gonna ditch us now after everything we've done for you? Yeah, duh. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get my old life back. It's gonna be so good. Parker! Are you okay, Dad? I, uh, I don't know, son. I don't know. So, like, your parents just, like, went on vacation and didn't take you? Yeah, I guess so. Well, they probably just forgot or something. Whatever, it's okay. All this means is that I'm rich again. Ah, oh, thank goodness, because I wasn't gonna be a friend anymore. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, dude, I don't hang out with poorsies, you know that. Ugh, speaking of poorsies, I'm out of here, dude. Dude, can we talk? Yeah, I guess. Make it quick. You hurt my dad's feelings last night. So what? So what? Do you not remember what we just talked about yesterday? My family adopted you, took care of you, and now you're just done with us? You just don't get it, Levi, okay? I just found out my family's still alive and that I get my old life back. Yeah, well, yesterday you told me that you hated your old life. You said your parents didn't even know you existed. You really want to go back to that? Yeah, well, it's better than being poor. I'll just give your parents some money and move back home. No, we don't want your money, Parker. Can't believe you, dude. You're turning back on people who cared about you. Oh my gosh, you're being so dramatic. Whatever, look, can you just drive me to my parents' party later? Fine, at least I'll get to say goodbye. All right, thanks, dude. Come on, dude, we're gonna be late. Are you sure you have everything? Yeah, I do. And um, if I forget anything, I'll just send my dad's butler to get the rest of the stuff. I'm, I'm gonna miss you, Parker. What? Y you are? We both will, son. We love you, and 
We just wish you the best, that's all. We're so happy that you're going back to your family. Well, if you're happy, why are you crying? We're crying? Oh, uh, we're just, um, we're just sad to see you go. That's all. Now, go have fun, and, and don't forget us, okay? Look, are you ready to go, man? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. What's going on? I thought you were happy leaving this place. I thought I was. I just think I'm gonna miss your mom and dad. Wait, seriously? I don't know. Maybe? Whatever. Just take me home! <sighs> right away, your majesty. Whoa, dude, this is your house? Yeah, it's one of them. This is one of the smaller ones, though. Oh, then right there, Bunks. Excuse me? No one gets inside of this establishment unless you're on the list. I am the list. I'm Parker Stoneshire. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, nope, uh, you're not on the list, loser. Sorry. Get my dad out here right now. I want to talk to him. Uh, whatever, dude. Stop yelling at me. Maybe they just figured out I'd be home, and that's why they didn't put me on the list. Yeah, maybe? All right, what seems to be going on here? Ugh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, that's my son, Peter. What? Dad, no, it's me, Parker. Oh, right, right, of course. What do you want? Can I come in? Don't I still live here? Okay, fine. Just let him in. But escort this paw off my property. Sir, yes, sir! Uh, thanks, dude. I'll catch you later. Wait, what? Yeah, you're gonna walk away or do you want me to make you, huh? Yeah, I, I can walk. Thanks. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Oh, hello, darling. Didn't know you were home. What? I saw you last night at your party. We saw so many people. You really expected us to remember you? Uh, yeah, I'm your son. Yes, of course. How could we forget? Look, I wanted to tell you guys I was really upset you left me here. What? Upset? Why? You left me alone, and everyone thought you were dead. That was our plan, after all. Your plan? We wanted a vacation, away from you. You were so annoying, we just had to get away. What? I don't understand. Well, what's done is done. Hey, do you even know what day it is today? No, I don't track days. That's poor people stuff. It's my birthday today. Oh, well, happy birthday, honey. Here, go buy yourself a yacht or something. Your father and I are off to Japan for some sushi. Wait, what? Are you serious? Guys! Ugh. Hey, ha, <laughs> what's up, losers? Whoa. Back to normal again, huh? Yeah, well, I'm richer and better than ever. You like my new car? My parents just got it for me for my birthday. Y'all, whatever, man. Dude, I'll catch you later, Levi. Hey, look, Levi, can we talk for a sec? Yeah, sure, dude. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Happy birthday, man. Whoa, you actually remembered? Yeah, of course I did. You were my brother at one point. Look, I know it's not a fancy car, but it's something. No, no, it's, it's perfect. Thanks. Hey, do you want to hang out after school? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, dude, don't hang out with him, he's lame! Beat it, you poor! Uh, hey, Jacob, whatever, uh, I'll see you around, man. Hey, Levi, wait! No, 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 Parker, come over here, buddy. Let, 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 me, let me tell you something real quick. If I ever see you talking to those poor loser homeless people again, I'm gonna spread rumors about you everywhere in this school and online! Yeah, well, I thought you were my friend. I am, when you're rich and not talking to those weirdos. Now, come on, dude. Let's skip school and do something fun. Nah, I'm good. Did you just reject Jacob? Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm going to school. <laughs> Loser! Whatever, dude, you lame! Levi, we are so proud of you. Good job, son. You graduated the highest in your class. Thanks. I feel great about it. I can't wait for college. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. It's Parker. Hey. Congratulations, Parker. Oh, uh, thank you. Hey, Levi, can we talk in private? Yeah, sure. Hey, I I'm really upset. My parents didn't even come see me graduate. I feel so alone. Well, you want to grab some pizza with my family then? Really? You think that'd be okay? Yeah, of course, man. Don't worry. You don't have to be alone. We're here for you. Wow. Thanks, Levi.
Ah, oh, Percy, there you are. Wait, why are you carrying a bag? My dear, you should have the butler carry that. No, I I'm fine. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I'm moving out and I'm never coming back. Oh, are you off to our summer home in Nantucket? No, I'm gonna go ask the Strongs if I can move back in with them. You're going to go live with poor people? They're not poor! Well, if that's what you want, then go for it. It is what I want. All I wanted was a family that cares about me. You've got your inheritance now. What more do you want? I'm your son. I want a family, and you don't care about me at all. That's why I'm going. Bye, Mom and Dad. Yeah, I'll get it. Wait, Parker, what are you doing here? Are you okay? No, I'm not. I made a big mistake. Leaving a family who cared about me for one who couldn't care less? That was wrong. Did you know they even wanted me to think they were dead? Dude, I I'm sorry. That's horrible. W why are you telling me all of this? Because I was a jerk to you. And honestly, you were the closest thing I had to a real family. Parker, hey, what are you doing here? Can I come back home if you'll let me? Oh, of course. Welcome back, son. I'll have to go tell your mother. She'll be so excited. It's good to have you back, Parker. I can't believe it. I'm famous. My dream finally came true. This is incredible. Ew, who's that homeless man? What? Who is this guy? He's a nobody. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Oh, I I'm sorry. I just saw the red carpet and I always wanted to be famous. I didn't know what I was doing. Well, you are not famous. You're trespassing. Security. Ah, I hate this job. Yeah, what do you want? I want you to remove this man off the red carpet immediately. Look, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming. I made a mistake. The only mistake made today was looking at your ugly face. Ew, gross homeless person. Get off the red carpet. Please, no, I'm sorry. Get out of here. Go, go. You know, I shouldn't have to listen to those people. They have no idea who I am or what I've been through. I just wish I could go back to my old life. I miss my wife. We both wanted to build a YouTube channel together and we can make a difference in the world. But I keep having this nightmare of that storm. But don't worry, I'm gonna make good on our promise. And I gotta get out of this rain before I catch a cold. Oh man, that feels a whole lot better. Oh my gosh, it's you. Yeah, I'm Derek. You know me? Yeah, I know you. You're the stupid idiot who thought they were famous on the red carpet. I've never seen anything more pathetic in my entire life. It was just an accident, okay? I was daydreaming about being famous. I didn't realize that I just walked onto the red carpet. <laughs> really? That's the most pathetic thing ever. <laughs> no one like you can be famous. Look at you. My dreams aren't funny, and I am going to be famous. Oh, please. You have no talent whatsoever, and you need to get out of my store. This isn't some stupid daydream. Homeless people aren't allowed to hang out here. Get lost. I don't care what you think either. I will be famous. I know there's some big YouTuber in town and he's filming some videos here. I know I can be famous someday if someone's given me the chance. Maybe I can talk to him. I mean, he's Chad. He's one of the biggest YouTube stars there is right now. Look, there he is right there. And you better get me that triple vanilla latte right this time or I'm out. Got it? Uh, excuse me, Chad? Oh, what even are you? Are you supposed to be some gross character in my video? Because I can already tell you look awful. Uh, no. I'm a big fan and I look up to you a lot. I just want to know, what did it take for you to get so famous? Because one day I want to be famous as well. <laughs> well. You just can't become famous. You have to be born famous. Oh man, look. I really want to make content that people want to watch and I want to give back to people as well. And I think I really have what it takes. <laughs> I can tell you right now, you have no chance and absolutely no talent. Look, why is some homeless loser asking me for advice anyway? Because I looked up to you and I lost everything in my life. A tornado destroyed my town and took my family from uh, me. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I got really bored from your story. Can you leave, please? You're ruining my vibe. You know what? Fine. Can't believe I used to look up to you. Thanks for the advice, Chad. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel or whatever. I just need one break. I know I'm gonna be famous. I just gotta think of something. Come on, Derek. Whoa, hold on a second. That's famous YouTuber Lance McCreary. Uh, I think he's walking over to me. Uh, hi, uh, are you Derek, the red carpet guy? Uh, yeah, that's me. Let me guess, you came to make fun of me too. What? No, I don't wanna make fun of you. I thought it was hilarious. 
Besides, you didn't do anything wrong. No one should make fun of you for chasing your dreams. Yeah, I know. One day I'm gonna be famous and prove everyone that's making fun of me wrong. Well, if you need a place to start, I actually have an idea for a video. You what? Yeah, but I haven't been able to save enough money for it. But I really like your attitude, and I want you to take this and chase those dreams. Whoa, hold on a second. W what is this? $5,000. $5,000? Oh my gosh, no. I, I can't take this from you, Lance. Of course you can. I'm expecting big things from you, Derek. Look, I got a jack. I'm looking forward to see what you do next. Good luck with everything, man. Well, thanks. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is the break I needed. I'm going to use this and become famous in no time. Ah, Derek, there you are. Dude, where have you been? Steve, you will not believe what just happened to me. I just met Lance McCreary. Lance McCreary? Whoa! I love that guy's YouTube channel. And dude, he just gave me $5,000 to make his video. 5,000 bucks? That's incredible, dude. I'm so happy for you. And I know I can make a video for a whole lot less. I don't need all of this. I want to give you some too, man. What? Derek, are you serious? Since my wife died, you're the only friend and family I have right now, Steve. I want to thank you for all the hard times you helped me through. If you weren't here for me, man, I don't know where I'd be. Here, please, take this. I can never take money from you, Derek. Why not? You deserve some money just as much as I do. That's your money to chase your dreams with. I'd rather help you out instead. Why don't I work for that money? I'm sure you need a production assistant or something. You're right, I think I do. You've got a deal. All right, now it's time to spend some of this money on making that video. I've gotta buy a camera first. Oh, gross! What are you doing here, loser? Can't afford anything in here. That's not true, Chad. I actually have enough money now to buy my first camera. In no time, I'm gonna have a new YouTube video, and I think my channel will be bigger than yours. What? How did you get that money? Must have robbed somebody. Actually, Lance McCreary gave it to me to follow my dreams because he's an incredible YouTuber, unlike some people I know. Oh, get real. It doesn't matter. You'll never be as famous as me. You should just give up. Hey, I know you. You're that daydreaming guy from the red carpet event, right? My friends and I laughed at that video for like hours. Yeah, great. Thanks. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. I just thought it was really cool. A lot of people are talking about it. You're kind of going viral right now, man. Wait, really? Oh, that's kind of cool. That's not cool. Don't you get it? You're just a clown. You're never going to become famous. Well, Steve, we made our first YouTube video. And since we both can't afford to keep our phones on, we've got to upload it here. Oh, well, let's hurry up, man. Being around all these books uh, gives me the willies. Oh, come on, dude. It's not that bad. You know, I'm really grateful for you helping me out, man. Who knew you were such a creative guy? Well, yeah, I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve. Of course I want to help you, dude. I'm your friend. I really hope this video does well. I want to make content that makes people happy, you know? That's it. The video's live. Oh, I can't wait to see how much views it gets. Well, none right now, but over time, people will see it. Hey, you two, you need to leave. Why? The library's open to everyone. Yeah, but not you two. There's people in here complaining about how bad you guys smell. Wait a second. I know you. You're that red carpet dude. You guys are funny. Oh, yeah. That was me. I mean, I think you're pretty cool. You are really a new internet sensation. Can I take a selfie with you? Wait, really? Yeah, of course. Okay, great. This is my good side. Okay, look at the camera and smile. I'm gonna post that on my Twitter. You know, you should subscribe to my new YouTube channel. We just created and uploaded our new video. I will. And I'm sorry for being so mean, but you two kind of smell bad. You should leave. Steve, you're not gonna believe it. Why, well, what's going on? The video has half a million views right now, dude. We did it. Half a million views? Derek, that's awesome. I knew this day was gonna come for you, man. Yeah, well, I never could have done it without your help, man. You seriously are my best friend, dude. Derek, this was your idea. I just held the camera. You're a really talented YouTuber. Soon, all of this is gonna pay off for you, man. Like, literally, soon your YouTube channel's gonna be making money. Yeah, and I can't wait. Maybe walking onto that red carpet and looking like an idiot wasn't the worst thing that could have happened to me. Well, it didn't hurt, that's for sure. You know, I think my wife would be so proud of me right now. I'm gonna be able to make her even more proud of me, though, when I make it big time. Whoa, what are all these people doing here? Looks like something's going on. Oh, great. Oh, why do you keep showing up everywhere? Do I have to call animal control? Hey, this is a public space. I'm allowed to be here. No, you're not. This is my autograph signing. So unless you got the diamond pass, get away. Look, sorry. I didn't mean to crash your autograph signing. I'm just doing some shopping for my next video. Uh, do people actually watch that trash? Um, yeah. Over half a million people have, actually. Uh, unbelievable. 
Let me tell you right now from a real YouTuber, your video was trash and you shouldn't make another. Well, I'm not gonna listen to you and I'm gonna keep making videos until I have more subscribers than you. As if you can even get half of the subscribers I have, that's never gonna happen. No one even knows who you are. Oh, hey, are you Derek? Uh, yeah, I'm Derek. Oh man, I love your content. I can't wait to see your next video. I'm actually just about to make it soon. I appreciate that, man. Dude, why are you watching this loser's content? He's a homeless idiot, and that's all he'll ever be. Well, you'll see this homeless idiot, as you call me, make a new video and post it next Friday. So you better be on the lookout for it, man. Totally looking forward to it, man. It was really great to meet you. Ugh, unbelievable. Derek is a homeless loser and he does not deserve this much success. No one should watch his videos. They should be watching me. I'm Chad. Well, I'm gonna make sure that Derek can't make another video. And now here's my trusty flamethrower that I bought with money. <laughs> awesome. Let's watch Derek make a video now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Steve, look! Oh, the place is completely destroyed. It was burnt down, but how? Oh man, I'm stuff. I hope it's okay. Hey, hey, excuse me, sir. Uh, what is it? Can you see I'm a little busy? Yeah, look, I live here, okay? Did you guys find any camera equipment or anything lying around? Kid, are you serious? Look, nothing made it through this fire. Anything that was in the shelter was completely destroyed. Oh no, 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 this can't be happening. Looks like the dream is over now. No, Steve, it is not over yet. We're gonna keep making videos. We can't stop now. How are we gonna do that when all of our stuff is up in flames? I just gotta turn it around, that's all. I'll get a job, I'll earn some money, and then we'll get new equipment and make more videos. We got this, I think. There's Lance filming a brand new video. I sure hope he remembers me. All right, everybody, great job today. That's a wrap. Hey, Lance, I'm not sure if you remember- Derek, oh man, it's great to see you. How have you been? Wait, you really do remember me? Of course I do, man. How can I forget you? I saw your channel. I loved the new video you put out. Wait, you did? Oh, wow, thanks, man. Hey, when's the next one coming? Yeah, that's kind of a problem at the moment. Problem? Uh, what's wrong? Well, the homeless camp where I was living got burned down and all of my stuff is gone. But I'm not here to really talk about that. I'm here to talk about something else. Well, anything. What do you need, man? Well, you saw my YouTube video. Why don't you give me a chance to direct one of yours? Hmm, I do love your style. I did love the shots in your video. You know what? Okay, I'll give you a chance. You really will? Look, I promise I won't let you down and this will be one of the best videos you have ever made. You know what? Okay, you fully convinced me. Let's give it a shot. Man, I cannot wait to help Lance with his video. That guy is so cool. And he's got some killer creative ideas hey, too. I saw what you did. What did I do this time, Chad? You were hanging out and talking to Lance. Yeah, I'm actually gonna help him out with a project he's working on. What? You're working with Lance McCleary? He's never worked with me before. I've asked him several times to make a video. He won't even respond to my DMs. And that's my problem because- Ugh, You're impossible. Do you actually think by working with Lance, you're gonna be more famous than me? Probably. You're kind of an awful person. You should be nice to people for once. You better watch what you're saying, man. Don't you know who I am? I'm Chad. Yeah, I know who you are, Chad. I don't think I'm gonna become more famous than you. I know I'm gonna be more famous than you. Uh, whatever. You're just a pathetic loser and you'll never be anything more than that. I don't care what you think, Chad. I'm not gonna stop making content and I'm not gonna stop working with people just because you don't want me to. Good luck with your life or whatever. Hey, Derek, look, it's a real Tesla. Hey, I want to thank you guys for helping me out today. Of course, man. Dude, I'm super stoked. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. I've never been on a real YouTube set before. Oh, it's no problem. I'm real grateful that you could be here. I'm hoping filming works out today. Trust me. From my estimate, it's probably going to go number one on trending. Just a guess, though. Oh, I really hope so, man. Let's give it a shot. All right, so let's just start with your simple intro first. All right, in three, two, one. Hey everyone, before today's video, I just want to shout out my friend's channel, Derek and Steve. Make sure you go sub to them. Wait, hold on. Dude, what are you doing? I'm shouting you out. That's what YouTubers do. Wow, I didn't expect that. Thanks, man. Let's film this video. Oh man, I cannot believe this. 
Ever since Lance shouted out our channel, it's been blowing up like crazy. Every time I refresh the page, it's like, more subscribers, more subscribers. This is really starting to change my life. Hey, dude, thanks for coming by, man. Do you have any idea how much views that did for my channel? 10 million views. It's one of the best videos I've ever had. Oh, man, that's so awesome. I'm really happy for you. What did I say? I told you this was gonna work. Thank you so much, Derek. So do you think I can work on your next video? Yeah, no way, man. Wait, what? Why not, dude? Because you need to make videos for yourself. You definitely have what it takes to be one of the biggest YouTubers on this platform. And you gotta focus on that. You can't be wasting time on my channel. You gotta build your own. And here, this is for you. For what? For directing my video, obviously. $10,000 should do it, right? Lance, dude, I can't take that. Well, I've made a whole lot more money than this. And it was all because of you. Now you need to invest that money in yourself. This is incredible. Thank you. So, what do you think? Dude, this is awesome. You have your own apartment. A place to live that's not a homeless shelter? It's great. Yeah, and I put six months rent down on this place. We have no choice but to make it work. Because in six months, if we don't make any more money, we're going to be homeless again. Uh, don't worry, dude. I know we can do it. Hey, thanks for letting me crash here, too. I really appreciate not sleeping in a cardboard box. What, you really thought I'd leave you hanging? Come on, Steve. I know, I know, but still, it means a lot to me. And plus, I kind of need you here. We need to focus on this channel. Got a ton of ideas, and I'm super excited to get started. Well, that's great. I'm down to film whatever you want. Awesome. Now let's start tomorrow. First thing. Wow, my first social media convention. This is so cool. Oh, great. And Chad is here, too. And that's how you make videos if you want to be a famous YouTuber like hey, me. Look, it's Derek. We gotta go talk to him. Oh, Derek, Derek, is it really you? Hi, yeah, it's nice to meet you guys. Oh, we love your videos. They're so good. Please, could I have an autograph? Yeah, well, of course. I never realized I'd be recognized like this in public. But uh, anything for one of my fans, this is for you. Oh my gosh, look, we just got Derek's autograph. Oh, no one's ever going to believe us. They will now because we got the autograph. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, thank you so much, Derek. Whoa, that was kind of cool. What the heck was that? I just signed autographs to some really grateful fans. I was in the middle of telling those fans a story and you totally ruined it. I didn't do anything. Maybe your story was kind of boring. Boring? Oh, please. How is a loser like you even getting famous in the first place? You know, Chad, I could ask you the same question. <gasps> Whatever, you suck. Dude, it finally came. Your 100,000 subscriber plaque. Oh my gosh, the silver play button? Dude, this is so cool. Look at this thing. Man, I can't believe it. 100,000 people know who we are, man. And that's just the beginning, Derek. We're gonna get the gold plaque next. Over a million subscribers? Yeah, I hope so. Trust me, dude, you're on your way to being famous. Yeah, well, I'm not even close to where I wanna be. Not yet, at least. I am happy. This is a big step and a huge accomplishment. And we've been able to help people along the way as well. Donating money to that school band? Everyone was super grateful. And that video was doing super well. You know what? You're right. It feels good to actually give back instead of taking the road Chad took. He's just mean to people. Yeah, well, don't even think about that guy. He's a total jerk. He's not worth our time. Well, now that we hit this milestone, we need to make a special video. We need to make a special video in honor of this moment. I think I have an idea. Well, this is it. This is where a lot of people that lived at our old homeless camp ended up. And I think this is the perfect spot. We need to make a new video here. I'm going to donate all this money to these people because we know exactly what it's like to be them. It's a great idea, Derek. I feel really grateful to get out of here. <coughs> Man, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Dude, you were coughing the whole way over here. What's going on? Are you getting sick? I haven't been feeling too good for a bit. Why didn't you tell me? It's fine. It's probably just allergies. <coughs> you don't look so good. Whatever. You don't look good. You, you, uh. Steve? Steve! Hold on, hold on, man. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, yes. I need an ambulance, please. Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, what do you think you're doing? You need to wait out here. Please, that's my best friend. I've got to be there for him. Well, right now, we need to help him. Oh, this does not look good. Nurse, I'm gonna need your assistance with this. Oh my gosh, she's flatlining. Quick, somebody, we've got to do something. Doctor, has there been any update? I'm really sorry, Derek. Fortunately, your friend passed on. That can't be right. He was fine hours ago. Your friend Steve had a very rare disease, and we don't know much about it, and there was no cure. Very sorry, Derek. There was nothing we could have done. No, he was my only friend. I, I can't lose him. Please, doctor, please. Steve, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm going to do now, Steve. Without you here, it just doesn't feel right. I really miss you so much, dude. 
Hey, Derek. Are you doing okay? Not really, Lance. Losing my best friend? I mean, I spent every day with him. We work together, and I think now I'm gonna have to delete the channel. I don't think you should quit. Lance, you don't understand. I've lost everything and for the second time in my life. Now this, what am I supposed to do? Derek, you have way too much talent just to throw that all away. And you still have a roof over your head. I know, I know. I need to look at the positives still in my life, but it's just hard. Remember what you told me about your wife? How you two had that dream? You were so close. And I know you can still get that dream, Derek. If you don't think you can do this alone, you don't have to. I'm gonna work with you. I've got your back. Thanks, Lance. I'm so grateful for you and everything you've done. I'm not just gonna do this for me. I'm gonna do this for my wife and for Steve. Hey everybody, it's great to see you all out here today. Now I know you all know who Derek is. I know, I know. So we just like to announce that me and Derek are officially going to be working together. Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Two favorite YouTubers, no way! Well, that's the big news for today. Look out for some new awesome content coming. Thanks again, guys! Dude, I think that was a pretty good reception. Yeah, man, they seem to be really pumped about it. Well, I'm not pumped at all! Oh, you're Brad, right? What? I'm Chad, not Brad! You're a total fraud, Derek! Because of you two idiots, nobody's watching my videos anymore! I'm a fraud? Chad, look at yourself in the mirror, okay? Since day one, you've been nothing but negative. You know, if you changed your mindset, maybe some more positive things would happen to I you. don't care. I'm not gonna let you become more famous than me. That isn't up for you to decide, Chad. You need to stop being mean to people. Yeah, and making content no one likes. Oh, uh, you know what, Derek? You suck. And you suck too, Lance. You both suck. I'm out of here. This convention's for losers. In one month, Derek, one month, you have managed to go from 100,000 subscribers to a million. Do you have any idea how crazy that is? Yeah, some guy on the news said it was the fastest growing channel of all time. I didn't believe it would happen to me. Thank you so much for throwing this party, man. Well, duh, of course, we gotta celebrate, right? I know this made your wife and Steve really proud of you, dude. Wow, that means a lot, Lance, thanks. I'm actually famous now. This feels kind of weird. I mean, it's great, but I just wish my wife and my best friend were here to see it, you know? Listen, it's not gonna be easy, but you just gotta try and enjoy this. Think about what you accomplished today. Yeah, no, no, you're right million subscribers and this is so cool yeah and you know you passed chad and subscribers right did i really i wasn't even thinking about that i've heard that he's been losing subscribers he's been getting meaner and meaner in his new videos people are really getting tired of him well i think people are finally noticing how spoiled he really is listen enough talking about work let's just enjoy the party we deserve this more importantly you deserve this wait hold on a second so you're telling me people are talking about the party last night on the news well, it's a big deal, dude. And so are you. Well, thanks, man. It was super fun. But I have an idea for my million subscriber video. Oh, wow. Let me hear it. Well, I think this is going to be the video that's really going to make me famous. But for the right reasons. Well, I'm going to take all the money that I've made. And I'm going to rebuild the town that I grew up in. It's still in ruins to this day. And no one's been able to do anything until now. Oh, Derek, that's a great idea. I could donate too. I can even get my other YouTuber friends to pitch in. This could be one of the biggest clouds of all time. And the biggest focus is giving back to the people in that town. It's gonna be awesome, but I'm torn. I haven't been back to that town since it happened. It was too painful to be there, and I don't know if it'll be too painful to be there again. It'll be painful regardless, but you need the closure. Your wife would be so proud of you. I hope so. I'm gonna go back to that town, and I'm gonna help those people. Oh, I didn't think it would be this bad. And this was it. This is where we lived. This was where my old life was. We didn't have a whole lot, but we had each other. I just wish I could have her back, you know? Well, you know she's looking down on you right now, right? And she's always with you. I just wish she could see all the stuff that I built today, you know? She does see it, dude. And you're doing a really good thing right now. Yeah, you're right. I gotta focus on the task at hand. I need to clear out all this debris and start building these new houses. I want to give back to these people, Lance. Let's get this ball rolling. Man, I am so excited to get this project started. I've got a really good feeling about this. Hey, Borzy! How did you find me here? Doesn't matter. Word on the street is that you've been begging for money so people can be in your stupid video. What? That's not happening at all. Chad, just go away, okay? No way. I keep losing more and more subscribers every day. Now everyone thinks you're cool instead of me. Why does that matter to you? 
Who cares what people think? You know what I think your problem is, man? You didn't actually earn your fame. It was just handed to you, so you don't appreciate anything. You should be doing good things with your YouTube channel, Chad. Maybe you should give that a try. I don't care what you think. There's only two things that matter in this life. My views and my bank account. But listen, I didn't come here just to waste my valuable time. So then why did you come here? I want you to make a video for me. You've got to be kidding. The Chad doesn't kid, okay? I want to give you the rest of my money so you can make a video about how I helped you become famous. You've got to be kidding. You want to take credit for everything I've done? Well, yeah, of course I do. You owe it to me, man. I don't owe you anything. You've literally never done anything for me, Chad. And I would never take a dime of your money. And I'm not going to make your video. So why don't you take a hike? Uh, you know what? You're lost. This isn't over, Derek. I can promise you that. Ugh, stupid Derek thinking he's better than me, thinking he's so cool. Why? Just because he's making a bunch of stupid houses for a bunch of worthless porzies? Ugh, I can't stand him. He thinks he's so much better than me. I'm the famous YouTuber. People should be loving me. I need to do something before he takes everything away from me. I bet it won't be too easy to build a house when I do this. Man, I love this thing. It's so cool. <laughs> now everybody will think Derek is an idiot who doesn't even know what he's doing. What the heck? No. We were making so much progress. No. What on earth happened here? Oh, don't worry. Everything's okay. There was a fire, but we got it out before it could spread. Well, that's a good thing. How did the fire even start, though? It looks like someone must have sneaked in and started it. Someone sneaked in and started a fire? I can only think of one person who would stoop that low and do this. Yeah, well, they're pretty bad at it, so it's a good thing. If you know who it is, you need to talk to the police right away. Chad's going to pay for what he's done. Thank you again so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming up. What do you think? I think that's a wrap. This is going to be one of the greatest YouTube videos of all time, dude. Better than the Mr. Beast Squid Game video. Well, I hope so. Hey, uh, is that Chad over there filming something? Oh, great. I've been looking for him for two months now. How's my chance? Oh, uh, you need to leave. You're ruining my shot. I've been looking for you, Chad. Why? You want to collab with me after all? No, I'm not going to collab with you. I've been looking for you, and so have the local police. We know you're the one that set fire to our project. Fire? I have no idea what you're talking about. Plus, you couldn't prove that I did it. Well, were you the one that did it? Of course I did. There's just nothing you could do to prove it. I thought you would say that. Oh, wh what the heck? I told Lance to call the police before I even started walking over here. I decided to call my detective friend as well. He heard our whole conversation. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, you're the worst, Derek. I hate you. We're gonna catch you, Chad. Just give it up. Wow, this place is crazy. I know that these billionaires are my real parents. What is going on? Hey, poor, you're trespassing. Leave now. No, you don't understand. My real parents, they're billionaires and they live here. I said, get out of here now. No, dude, I'm not leaving. I need to know the truth. I said 50 million or the deal is off, Winston. Dad, Dad, it's me, Keith. I'm your real son. That's it, you freak. Huh? Ah, stop! Just tell my parents that I'm here, please! Yeah, yeah, shut up! When will this end? Dumb kids always trying to steal the Beaumont fortune, huh? Ah! Ugh. Now stay away from the Beaumont's estate, you creep! No! The Beaumont's are my real family, just listen to me! No billionaire family would have such a loser kid! I never want to see your ugly face again! That guy sucks! I know that that's my real family, I just know it! Keith, you're dead me! Bert, what are you doing? You're a lazy bum! You're supposed to help me with the farm! You know what, man? You need to stop treating me like trash all the time. I know that I'm your adopted brother, but I'm still part of your family. Not to me, you ain't. Whatever. I know that my real family are billionaires anyway. They just don't know I exist yet. Shut up! You have no family, Keith. No one loves you. Now get to work in the field. What? No. I'm gonna smack you with this if you don't start working now. <sighs> You're the worst brother, Bert. So are you. Now get to work. Whatever. Man, Bert's never liked me. I don't get what his problem is. Uh, what the heck is that? Sounds like... Ah! Keith! Keith! Ugh, ow, my arm. Dad? Dad! 
Keith, we've been worried sick. What happened? The tractor, it hit blew up. Bert probably broke it. How would you know? You were off pretending your family's a bunch of rich billionaires. Is this true? You're still trying to find your real family? Yeah, I am. I just want to know the truth. I want to know why they left me. Probably because you suck. In fact, I'm leaving you here, that's for sure. This storm's getting bad. And you look just fine to me. Stupid baby. I hurt my arm, you jerk. Well, suck it up. The storm is getting bad, okay? We should head back and prepare the farm. I want to help, but my arm, it hurts. Yeah, yeah, whatever, crybaby. More excuses. Maybe your billionaire family could handle the medical bills for that arm then, huh? Oh, no. I spent my last bit of money on that Uber just to get here. But he has to be here. My real dad. He's presenting at this convention. I just have to talk to him. I have to. <laughs> Keith, you suck! Uh, just go away, man. Shut up! You're never getting adopted! You're lame! Yeah, I'm poor! Your real family didn't even want you, dude! <laughs> hey, stop that! All of you! Now leave him alone! <sighs> Are you okay, Keith? They're right! No one loves me! I feel so alone! Oh, sweetie, you're not alone! I'm here for you! Yeah, well, no one even wants me anyway! You know, I heard that you came from a billionaire family! Wait... What? Maybe she was lying. Maybe she wasn't. I don't know. I've just got to know for sure. Hey, you! Where's your ticket? I don't have one, but you've got to let me in. Do I look stupid to you? No, but my dad's in there. Oh, yeah? So is the Tooth Fairy. But I don't care. No ticket, no entry. Out! Next in line! Well, that didn't work. I can't buy a ticket, so I'll have to find another way in. I have to. I hope this works. It's now or never. And as I always like to say, the key to being rich is making a lot of money. Ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Um, Mr. Beaumont? Look, if you're fetching more water, make sure it's bottled and costs at least $25 a piece, okay? I don't want any of that dreadful dirt water you gave me last time. Sir, I don't work here. What? Then why are you bothering me? Because I... I I think I might be your son. Is this a sick joke? We lost our son years ago. How dare you bring this up? Look, I didn't mean to offend you, but I was abandoned as a child, and I've always believed- You're trying to get money from me, aren't you? Is this your twisted scheme? Is this the game you're playing? Pretending to be my long-lost son, bringing back the pain my wife and I had suffered for years. No, I'm not pretending. I'm just trying to find the truth. Security! Get him out of here! How dare you try to upset me before my big speech! Huh, you again? Look, no, stop! Just hear me out! I don't listen to sketchy thieves! Huh! Ah! What the heck? Let me go! Get out, and don't come back! Man, I can't believe Mr. Beaumont treated me like that. He wouldn't even let me speak! Maybe those billionaires aren't my real family after all. Hey! There you are! We missed you on the farm! Again! I'm sorry, Dad. Uh, I went into the town. I know where you went. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, sort of. I tried to talk to him, but he threw me out. Figures! Those billionaires, they always have a lot of security. Look, I really am sorry for not being there today. I know you needed my help, and- Yeah! I did. If you were really sorry, you'd have been there. I don't understand, Keith. Why isn't this family that you have good enough for you? It's not that, Dad. I love you all so much, but... But what is it? I've just always wondered. Always felt the pain of being abandoned, knowing that my birth family is out there somewhere. A family that once was mine, but they don't want me. Let me tell you something. The grass isn't always greener on the other side, okay? Maybe think about that before trying to force your little way into a family that doesn't want you. Hello? Bert, slow down. I'll be right there. What's wrong? Uh, Bert's truck broke down. Again. I've got to go help him. Thanks again for fixing this truck, Alex. I promised my dad I'd help Bert out with it. Yeah, no problem, dude. What are friends for? Hey, speaking of... Any luck with finding your family? Are you a billionaire yet or what? Nope, not at all. Ugh, oh, too bad. I was hoping you might end up paying me for this after all. I can pay you, I just don't have much. <laughs> just relax, dude. I'm just messing with you. It's on the house. Wow, thanks, man. Hey, did you hear the big news? Big news? I don't think so. Rumor around town is the billionaires are building a massive factory near here, and the pollution could really affect all our farms. That is awful. If I were part of that family, I would stop it. Yeah, too bad you're not. Guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. If 
feel bad, though. Dad thinks I don't care about him or Bert. It's just, it's more than that to me. I just need to know why, you know? Yeah, man, I get it. I'd probably feel the same way, too. What the heck is taking so long? My truck should have been done by now. Bert, if you don't shut your mouth, I'll re-break this truck so you can walk your sorry self home. You know what? You both suck, especially you, Keith. No family, no money, nothing. Just a broke, abandoned loser. Get out of my shop, Bert, now. Fine. This place is lame anyways. Can't handle that guy, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Your brother's a real piece of work. Man, groceries are getting so expensive. I barely had enough money. Whoa, Mr. Beaumont? There you are. It took forever to find you. You were looking for me, but why? Look, I got to thinking about what you said back at the conference. It really messed with my head. Look, I'm sorry. That wasn't what I wanted to do. There's a big chance you're nothing but a complete weirdo. But... There's a small chance you might actually be our long lost son. Look, before I was adopted, I was told that my family were billionaires. I never knew how anyone would know that, but I just had a feeling that it was true. There's a small chance it could be. Our baby was lost during a helicopter tour over the woods. We parked the helicopter for just a moment and somehow our baby went missing. I think I was found in the woods over by Eagle Ridge. That's where we were. Hmm. Well, if you're up for it, we should go to a doctor and get a blood test. I need to see this on paper to believe it. Yeah, I would love to. Excellent. Let's go now. And don't touch anything in the car. Keith! Good that you're home. Dad, what are you doing up so late? I've been waiting for you. I wanted to tell you how happy I am that you helped Bird out today with his truck. Oh, well, I couldn't just leave him hanging. We need that truck for the farm. Yeah, we do. And we didn't have the money to get it fixed. Your friend really did him a solid there. Yeah, no worries. Dad, I hope you know that I really do love you and appreciate everything that you've done for me. I know that. I'm sorry for how I acted earlier. I don't know what you're going through, but I see it's something. Something deep. Yeah, it is. And I talked to Mr. Beaumont today, too. I took a DNA test, and we're gonna find out the truth soon. Well, uh, that's good. I hope that brings some closure for you, Keith. But remember, you are a part of this family. We might not have much, but we have love and we work hard. And that, we are truly the rich ones. You understand? Uh, yeah, I think so too. And I want to help on the farm tomorrow. Anything you need, I've got your back. Good. We've got a lot to do. So get some sleep. We're gonna start early. Oh, this is tough work, but it feels good to be helping dad out. I'm really grateful for my family, but if it turns out that I'm related to the Beaumonts, what the heck? Not you again. You need to come with me right now. Hey, what's the meaning of this? You can't just land a helicopter here. You're scaring the animals. Shut up, old man. You must be the criminal. What? Criminal? Excuse me? You kidnapped the Beaumont son. Well, now he needs to finally come home with me. This is my home. Not anymore. The test results came back. You are the Beaumont son. No, he is my son. I raised him. Well, the cops are on their way. And if you don't tell this kid to come with me, it's going to get ugly for you. The cops? Look, I, I don't want to leave you, Dad. Yes, you do, Keith. This is truly what you wanted deep down. The truth. You're a Beaumont. Now go. Dad, no, look, I'm sorry. I didn't think this would happen. Oh my gosh, shut up. If you don't want your dad arrested, get in the helicopter in the next five seconds. Let's go. O okay, fine. I'll go. Whoa, this place is even bigger than I remember. Keith, you made it. I can't believe it. My son, after all these years, welcome home. You took me from my home. Why don't we just talk about things first? Oh, that? Yeah, listen, that was just a precaution, okay? Now that we found you, we need to know if someone actually kidnapped you. When you're a billionaire, you can't trust a lot of people. Yeah, well, my dad didn't kidnap me. He adopted me. We'll see you about that soon enough. Now, come on, let me show you around. Okay, wow, this is actually pretty amazing. Yeah, it is, obviously. Custom made and filled with filtered mineral water. By the way, um, you smell... Pretty terrible, son. Yeah, sorry. I was working on the farm all morning. Working on a farm? Ha! Yeah, no, 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 no. No more of that farming for you. 
Oh my gosh, Dad. What is that smell? Ew. Is that a poor person? Orson, this is Keith, your brother. Keith, this is Orson. Nice to meet you, Orson. No, go get me a new brother. I can't be related to some poor idiot. Dude, watch it, man. What's the problem with you? My problem is you. No poor people are allowed on this property. Orson, I will take away your yacht privileges so fast your head will spin. Excuse me for a moment. Go for Beaumont. No, no, no. I said 70 million or no deal. Okay, I think this is going to take some getting used to. Yeah, well, I think you're a liar and you're here to just steal my family's money. Well, guess what? I get that money, not you. I don't care about the money, dude. I just wanted to know my birth family. Okay, well then, here's a tip. Huh. Ah! Ah! Oh, what's your problem? You smell like garbage. Maybe consider taking a shower for once, idiot. This is all pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, it's really nice out here. And thank you for the new clothes, by the way. You're a billionaire now, Keith. You should always wear at least $10,000 worth of clothing per outfit. Yeah, that's way too much money. I'm not going to do that. Oh, you're funny. You know, you'll get all used to it. It's really nice to be in nature, you know? Well, enjoy it for now because this is going to be a massive factory pretty soon. Oh, my goodness. The rumors, they're true. Oh, yeah. I'm tearing this all down. It's going to be perfect. That's going to destroy everything around here. Oh, it's fine. The pollution the factory's going to make will just run down the river and everything here will be fine. What about the land? The animals that live here? The farmers? My family's farm is nearby. You know, you worry too much. Plus, you could own the factory. <laughs> the factory is a lot cooler than a farm, if you ask me. Oh, hold on a second. Yep, go for Beaumont. Oh, Mr. Mayor! Yeah! This is the worst case scenario. I need to tell everyone what's going on. Gotta stay quiet. Robber! Ha! Ah! Dart! What the heck? Sorry, I thought he was robbing us. Oh no, it's me! Ah! You aren't supposed to be here. You're gonna get me in trouble, kid. Well, I had to come. You need to know that the Beaumonts, they're really going to build up a factory and it's going to ruin everything. And you're going to be part of it, aren't you? That's going to be your factory too, Mr. Beaumont. I don't want it, Bert. The factory, it's a terrible idea. Aha! I thought I heard something. You are under arrest for attempting to kidnap Keith. No, wait, it's a mistake. You just keep making more of a mess. Get out of here. I hate you. Dad, I'm bailing you out. Huh, I don't want your help, Keith. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying to fix everything. I promise I will. I'm heartbroken, son. I get why you needed to know about your parents, but regardless of blood, you're still my son. I know, Dad. I just, I don't know what to do. Tell Mr. Beaumont to call off the case. I tried, but they just want to make sure that there was no plot to steal me. It'll all be over soon, okay? You obviously didn't do it. I just hope that these are good people, Keith. Money doesn't make you successful or happy. Get in, Dad. Let's go. Dad, wait. Just don't go yet. Stop talking to him. You'll get him arrested again. Sorry, son. I have to. You suck, Keith. Yeah, let's make the deal happen, Barnaby. And tell Jacobs the deal is off. That guy's a total loser. Dad, I need to talk. This investigation is nuts. I think it's gone way overboard. My dad didn't kidnap me. Look, I know he's your dad, but I'm your real dad. And you need to start being part of this billionaire family now. Understand? Why can't I be both? Why would you want to do that? That family is broke as dirt. You're a Beaumont. I don't want to be ripped away from my existing family. You were the one that did that to me. Uh, look, I have a lot of opportunities I want to give you, Keith. Just get to know us better. And I promise you'll want us in your lives. I want you both in my life. But we've missed out on so much time together. I want you to stay here and spend time with us as a family. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Hey, dude! Man, is that you? <laughs> Look at you. What are you wearing? Yeah, just some stuff Mr. Beaumont bought me. Said I should look like a billionaire or something. You know, I'm really happy for you, man. Truly, finding your real family, I know how much you've wanted that. It's huge. Yeah, I'm just 
horn, Alex. I'm trying to figure out if the Beaumonts are good people or not. What do you think of them? I don't know, honestly. Never met them. All I know is they're mega rich. Well, you were right about one thing. The factory. It seems like it's happening, dude. Oh, great. Bet they'll just buy up all the land after they pollute everything. I'm gonna do my best to stop it. I want my real dad to see that good or bad actions have consequences. Being super rich like him, I don't think he deals with them that often. Keith, that's a lot to ask for. And he has to be willing to learn. If not, it's never gonna work. But if anyone can get through to him, it's probably you. Maybe this could be a good opportunity to help him understand, you know? Yeah, well, good luck. You're gonna need it. Dad, is that a new car? Yeah, it is. And it's for you. Wait, really? You're acting like you've never seen a Lambo before, son. Pull it together. Wow, thanks. But look, there's something that we need to talk about. You hate the color. I knew it! Look, we can just buy you another one, whatever color you want. No, that's not it. Look, it's about the factory you're building. I'm just concerned about how it's going to affect the town. Don't worry, Keith. Everything will be fine. You gotta be kidding me. Spoiling the poor now, Dad? Dude, give up. We're brothers, okay? We just gotta get along. Orson, he's right. We are a family now. Ugh, no we're not. Orson Thaddeus Beaumont, that is enough. Now you're not gonna get a new car for the 4th of July. Whatever, that car sucks anyways. Hey Keith, you're gonna pay for trying to act like you belong here. Cause you don't. Yeah, whatever man. I don't understand what his problem is. Look, I'm gonna go for a drive, okay? I need to clear my head. Well, well, look at you, thinking you're so cool with your fancy new car. Come to rub our faces in your brand new money. Actually, Bert, I was thinking I could sell it. Why? You need an even bigger, flashier, more stupid car? No, we could get some new equipment for the farm. You suck, Keith. I'm glad you're not my real brother. I don't want to be related to you. What the heck? Orson? You think you can just come into our lives and take everything, don't you? You just hit my car, man. What's wrong with you? So what? You suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Keith. Even your real brother hates you, too. Whatever, guys. You're both literally the worst people in this world. Maybe Alex can fix this. Ugh, I want to punch his stupid face. Yeah, me too. You know, you're pretty cool for a poor. And I guess you're kind of cool for being a rich idiot or whatever. You know, we should make Keith pay for being such an idiot. Yeah, he's ruined both our lives and our families. And he's gonna regret it. Man, this car, it's unbelievable, dude. You should be stoked to have this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now let's go get some steaks. I owe you for fixing it. Yeah, you do. That was not cheap work, man. Dude, Orson, he thinks he could do whatever he wants. Yeah, and how are you feeling about all this, man? I can tell something's up. Look, I'm not sure, honestly. I thought I wanted to know my real family, but it's way more complicated than I imagined. Yeah, for real. And part of it's like seeing a life you missed out on, too. You could have grown up just like Orson. Yeah, it's true. I sort of miss life on the farm, but I also have this cool car and could do cool stuff and... It's a lot to take in, I know. Any update on that factory your dad's building? Honestly, my billionaire dad seems to be coming around a bit. Really? That's awesome! Oh, speaking of my dad, hey, dad! Keith, I need you home right now! Are you... Okay, he hung up. Uh, sorry, Alex, I have to go. What the? Bert? What are you doing here? Keith, shut up! I'll ask the questions in my mansion. What is this I hear about you stealing money? I saw it, Dad. He offered $10 million to this poor named Bert. He is a monster! Stealing from us and giving away our money. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. It's true. I'd never take stolen money, though. Keith, how could a poor person be smarter than you? Dad, hold on, okay? Just listen to me. Sorry, son. Not listening anymore. Orson, you're gonna run the factory. You gotta be kidding me. That's the worst idea you've ever had. I only have good ideas. I'm a billionaire. I'm so distraught. I need to go count my Rolexes. Guess you're not so special now, are you? You're gonna pay for lying to dad, Orson. 
Smell that, boys? That's the smell of business and money. Owning this place is gonna be lit. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. This factory is gonna make our family billions. You've done very well, Orson. Dad, this is a huge mistake. You can't just give Orson a factory like it's a toy. Shut up, Keith. You're just a loser. Always so jealous of me. No, you shut up, Orson. All right, boys, stop it. Orson turned 18. He deserves a business to run. It's how our family operates. He's gonna pollute everything. Don't you care about what it'll do to the farmers, to the land around you? Son, everything's gonna be okay. I promise. My lawyers and I have have thought this through and they told me everything's gonna be fine yeah well i don't think you have <sighs> whatever get out keith i've got important things to do unlike you i'm not gonna let you get away with this orson i've been really worried about that factory dude it's already starting to wreak havoc on the town yeah i feel awful about it too i thought i could change things but you said you were going to fix it you promised things would be different when you were in charge I was set up, Alex. Burr and Orson framed me for stealing money, so now my dad won't even listen to me. Ugh, those guys are the worst. Bert is a jerk, and Orson is too. Yeah, I know, but I'm not giving up, Alex. I'm gonna try and save everything, somehow. Can we get back at Orson or Bert? I don't know who to square up with first, but they both need to deal with the consequences. They'll be dealt with, but right now, we need to find a way to minimize the damage that this factory's causing. Oh, yeah. yeah, people are so dumb. What the heck is going on here? Oh, Keith, didn't you hear? Bert is going to be my new business partner. Bert, is that true? Yeah, Dad and I need the money. You know, we're not all billionaires like you. Bert, if you take that job, you're turning your back on the farm, on our dad. I don't care, Keith, and neither did you. You're the one that left us for money for the stupid Beaumonts. Yo, watch it, dude. Yeah, sorry. With the money I'm gonna make from Orson, I can buy 10 farms anywhere else in the world. Yeah, well, what about dad, huh? What about him? I'll buy him one too. And plus, he's not your real dad anyways. So stop pretending like you care. My dad isn't yours either. You don't deserve a family. Bert, do the right thing. If you're gonna take this job, at least make sure that no pollution gets out. Protect the farm and dad. Just leave, Keith. No one wants you here or anywhere. Yo, Alex, what's up, dude? Keith, you need to come down to my shop right now. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh my goodness, it's the factory's pollution. You promised me this wouldn't happen, dude. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't know it would spread this far this fast. What happened to you, man? The money's really changed you, hasn't it? You gotta be kidding me. No, it hasn't, Alex. I wish I never met that family. These billionaires, they don't care about anyone else. Yeah, and it seems like you fit right in with them. You don't mean that. I do. Fix this, Keith. Or I don't know if we can be friends anymore. Look, I'm gonna try to fix it as much as I can. I'll try to make things right. What the heck, guys? Dumping all that pollution is not just wrong, it's illegal. Who's gonna complain, huh? Yeah, not me, that's for sure. See, I've never done anything wrong ever in my life. Bert, what has gotten into you? Well, I'm rich now, and I agree with Orson. I can do whatever I want. Just a week ago, you weren't rich, and all of a sudden, you've got money, and you forget about everyone else in your life? I got an opportunity, Keith, and I took it. You hated me, judged me when I met my billionaire family, thought I was just in it for the money, and look at you now. I'm going to make more money and become more powerful than you could ever be. Whatever, Bert. I promise you're going to regret this, man. You're not going to get away with anything. Security! Yeah, get him out of here. He smells like broke poor. Oh, no. Dad! I can't believe this. Keith! My own sons turned their backs on me. Now look, my life's work, my, my legacy, he's gone. Dad, it wasn't me, okay? You should have never brought those billionaires around. They ruined everything. You're right, okay? I, I didn't know about my old family. My real family was always right here. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry, son. I understand. I'm just heartbroken, and now I'm gonna be broke too. No, Dad. I think there's something that I can do. 
Okay, I just need to access some files. He has to have something in here. Uh, hello? What the heck do you think you're doing? Trying to expose what you're doing here, Arson. You're ruining lives and destroying the land. Yasu, what? I told you, you can't stop me. Yeah, I know. Luckily, I don't listen to you. You are the worst. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take your dad's land next, Keith. And then I'm gonna fire your dumb brother, Bert. I thought he was funny and he got rich. Well, that idiot's already blown through all his money and now he's poor again. And I don't associate with poor, let alone do business with them. So you're just ruining people's lives now. All for what? More money in your pocket? Yeah, basically. Now get out before I make your life even more miserable. Dad, we need to talk. Uh, what's bothering you now, Keith? Orson's factory. It's destroying everything. How could you let this happen? Orson runs that business, not me. And frankly, I'm too busy to concern myself with some silly little farms or pollution or whatever you're talking about. If you don't care about those farms, then you don't care about me. That's not fair, Keith. Of course I care about you. You don't care about me at all. All you care about is money. Well, then we'll just buy out the farmers, make them all rich, and everything will be fine. People love money, especially poor people. It isn't fine. It's far from fine. You're not fixing anything. You're just destroying their lives. You know what? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of you. Please, let's just talk this through, okay? We can make a deal here, right? A deal? I'm not just one of your business partners. I'm your son. There's nothing left to talk about. You could fix this, but you won't. I'm ashamed that you're my dad. Keith, I owe you a real apology. I lashed out at you and it wasn't fair. I was a total jerk. I was just so mad about everything that's happened and I took it out on you. Look, I'm sorry too, okay, for everything that's happened, but we need to focus now to make things right. We have to get proof that Orson and his factory are completely terrible. We need to catch him in the act, polluting the land red-handed. If we can catch them, the law will be on our side and people will have to intervene and we'll save the land from further destruction. I think I know where the pollution's coming from. It's near the riverbanks close to that factory. We'll use that data to expose them and reveal the truth. I like where your head's at. Let's set a trap. Man, our factory sure does make a lot of this toxic wasted stuff. Oh, yeah. So just dump it. Let's get rid of it, dude. What the heck do you think you're doing? Oh, great. This loser again. Mind your own business, Keith. No, you're destroying everything. There's nothing you can do about it, dude. Just accept it. You guys are both horrible people. I want no part in a family that's going to act like this. Well, good, because no family wanted you anyways. Not even in the orphanage, you stupid idiot. At least I didn't turn my back on my real family when things got tough. Just shut up and move, Keith. We've got more dumping of this toxic stuff to do. Uh, what's that? Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing an environmental scandal unfold directly below us. Orson Beaumont and Bert are caught red-handed, dumping barrels of toxic waste near a local town. Authorities are en route to manage this catastrophic pollution cover-up. No, I don't want to go to jail. Ugh, you suck, Keith.